How's it going, Blazers? We're going to bring you specifications you can relate to so you can have an educated decision on your purchases. This is going to be one from drop.com. This is a collaboration uh, with Gareth Bull. Uh, so this is a one that I haven't experienced Gareth's work before. I uh, heard really good things about his work, um, but uh, this is going to be where we're going to come across on this one. So that's going to be how it looks in your pocket. Uh, this is going to be for the Gareth Bull Miura. This is available on drop.com now. It goes for another 20 something days. So get on to it if you like it. Uh, it's going to be actually shipped out uh, probably in January. Uh, so the campaign runs for almost a month. And then after that, uh, then it will be produced, shipped, packed, and sent out to you. Uh, so that's going to be uh, the knife there. Uh, so this is a very, very very beautiful knife. Uh, so that's almost kind of a good thing and a bad thing. And so the good thing is it's very pretty. Uh, so when I got out of the package, I was like, hey, that's a nice, nice knife. Uh, so I was like, wow. Uh, also, so, but kind of bad thing about it, it is very polished, uh, which is good because it's pretty and it plays with the light really well, uh, but it's also not very grippy. Uh, so it's something that you could um, have fall down uh, so that's something that can happen, uh, especially with the front, fr front flippers. Uh, you are not necessarily holding the knife as firmly as you can. So kind of opening methods will be a little bit different. Uh, but this one's going to be uh, for this is the weave carbon fiber uh, with the black DLC diamond light coating a blade. Both versions are DLC coated uh, for the blade. Uh, the other one is going to be in a rosewood, and then also uh, for the hardware, it's going to be more of a bronze type finish. Uh, so you can check it out on uh, their website to kind of see what that is uh, for it. Uh, but this one, as far as weight wise, it comes in at uh, 2.7 uh, ounces uh, for it. Uh, so 2.7 ounces. So for this channel, if you didn't know, I weigh things with coins because it makes sense. It's something that you can pick up. Um, well, maybe not in this time because I guess there's a coin shortage. So I'm, I am holding on to some coins. Uh, so sorry about that. Uh, but basically 13 quarters and one penny is going to be what this weighs. Uh, 2.7 ounces. So what is that also? Uh, so if you want to get that in hand, either get that many coins or if you have a bug out, which probably a lot of you guys have, take four quarters, put it on top of your bug out, and that's how much this knife weighs. Uh, so this is about 1.9 ounces, that's about 2.7 ounces. Uh, so you can get it in hand, it kind of evens out the weight a little bit so you can get a better feel because sometimes if you put just a stack of quarters in your hand, it doesn't feel kind of the same. Uh, so that's something to do if you want to see, okay, well, well, how much does that actually weigh? And really, if you're carrying it, other than doing like a side-by-side -side comparison, you're probably not going to notice a difference uh, for it anyway. Uh, but just for information reasons, that's what it is. Uh, so this one goes for uh, 225 uh, and 225 is for either variant. Uh, there's no price break on it. Uh, so you basically 225, uh, order it now. When the campaign ends, it'll be shipped out to you in January uh, for production and everything else that's going on. And if you're like, ah, oh, that's a long time. Well, it is, but it has to be produced. If there's other knives in front of it, uh, within the line for we, uh, cause this is a we produced knife, uh, then that's going to be where it will kind of be, um, kind of down the list and it'll get kind of take its turn into production, uh, for it. So, uh, two to three pounds is kind of what I like for the uh, pull weight. Uh, this one I believe was somewhere around two pounds, uh, which is pretty good uh, for even the front flipper. Oop. Let's see what this is. So one pound, 13.4, so almost two pounds, which makes it a really nice um, opening. Uh, so that's not a lot of uh, pressure you need to actually do the deployment methods for it. Uh, so I'm sure there's other ways to do that uh, for deployment methods uh, for this knife. Uh, so it's a 3.2 inch blade, uh, which is a drop point. So it has their logo right there. Uh, but uh, 3.2 uh, for the blade length, again, DLC coated. Uh, for it and then uh, nothing on this side of the blade and then it is going to be a hollow grind as well so that's going to be um, all the way through as a hollow grind and then it's S35 uh, S35 VN blade uh, in comparison it's going to be about 75th percentile uh, for corrosion resistance also a little bit better with that DOC coating and then also edge retention wise it's going to be about 58th percentile uh, handle side is going to be about 4.1 inches 
Uh, so that's going from basically this point here, oops, this point here, all the way down to this tail end. So that's going to be 4.1 inches. Uh, blade thickness is going to be uh, 50, about 0.51 inches uh, for that. So behind this thickness on this one is going to be about uh, four sheets of paper. So get that out of your printer so you can get an idea as far as what that is. Uh, so that's going to be four sheets of paper, about 16 thousandths. And also the degree of ramp, I find uh, 20 degrees to be really good, 30 is okay, 40 degrees is uh, a bit, bit, bit too much, it's a bit too much. Uh, so uh, this one goes about 20 degrees or 21 degrees, so basically from that release to when that detent ball is actually on the blade is 21 degrees. And this one you can actually drop it shut, uh, so you can actually drop it onto your thumb, it actually makes contact right there. So you're not going to cut yourself and then you can get your finger out of the way and then close it the rest of the way. So it does offer a good one hand deployment without having to mess with it, not having to worry about cutting yourself when you're actually closing the blade one handed, which is a pretty good thing as well. So three millimeter blade stock for it at the full grind. And then uh, one way, um, basically for the pocket clip, and really the pocket clip is really fantastic. I have not seen a milled titanium clip look like this, which is almost a full deep carry pocket clip. And then it doesn't have anything in the way. Uh, so if you look through uh, the screws out of the way, the clips out of the way, it's just a really well done pocket clip uh, for it. And then this one is, just really nice, but it's only one hand uh, for right hand tip up. So it's not gonna be left hand, left hand doesn't have any uh, type of location to actually mount it. Uh, but this is definitely a fantastic one uh, to pick up, especially if you like the design, if you're looking for a front flipper. Uh, so the other front flippers on the market that you might be in the in looking for, especially in this price point, I mean, Boost Blade Smoke, uh, this is gonna be one here. I feel the Boost Blades is kind of one that is done uh, the, the the best. I mean, it's actually, the it's also a wee built knife, but when you go through the feel of it, all the different deployment methods, uh, basically where even little grooves are on the blade, I think the boost blade smoke is really, really good. And then you do have the real steel metamorph. There's another one. Uh, you also do have that in G10 uh, that you could pick up. And so if you don't like the aluminum, you can go with G10, uh, regular bug out for sizing just because people have it. And then you do have the rat number two is right there. So overall, what did, what do I think about it? Uh, I think it's a fantastic knife. I think it's done really well. Um, I know there's things that people have issues with Gareth and everything else. Um, I don't, because I don't know about those things. Um, I know I do support drop, that you do some good work. Uh, also, folk, folks that we uh, do a good job as well. Uh, so I know there's probably going to be people that will leave comments down below as far as um, how bad the designer is and everything else. But um, it's a good work. It's done well. Uh, so um, we'll kind of go into that. Um, hopefully, it's nothing. I don't think. I don't think it's anything that's like really, really horrible. It's kind of like more customer service things with different people's opinions and things that they felt uh, were done um, not to the highest standards. Uh, but that's getting into a different thing. But that is about all I have to say about that one today.